You might not have ever heard of Adolf Oliver Reckonwith, but his story is an interesting one. Adolf was a promising youth, full of vigor and destined to become a Dutch legend. Born in a small village outside of Riesenbeven, Dutch country, this was Adolf's one and only home. This is where Adolf became a renowned Dutch minister and brought up his rather large and well-respected family. But Adolf was most unusually obsessed with his daughter, Bellarina. Like her father, Bellarina suffered from extreme temper swings. They were kin and such a connection would eventually lead to their downfall. This is the story of what became known as the Vriesenbeven Blunder. It all began one day when Adolf was meeting with his good friend Sequester Grundelplith, M.D. Adolf was seeking a husband for his daughter, Bellarina, and she was most inspired by the thought of marrying Sequester Grundelplith's son, Craven Grundelplith. But Sequester would have none of this. He wouldn't wish Adolf's daughter, Bellarina, on anyone. Adolf began to get heated. He swore to Grundelplith that if this legal union did not take place by sundown, the village would fall under a curse, and the Grundelplith family would be to blame. Grundelplith laughed at Adolf's tenaciousness. <laughs> curse, he said, brought on by a Dutch minister? And Sequester left for home. None the wiser to Adolf's cunning power. Immediately, Adolf and Bellarina began plotting their wrath. What many did not know was that Bellarina was the granddaughter of a witch. On her mother's side, that is. And when Grandma gave up her practice of witchcraft, she endowed her entire library of books to Bellarina. It was in one such book that Bellarina found a spell that would curse her village with vampires. Immediately, Adolf and Bellarina began blotting their wrath. But both Bellarina and Adolf underestimated Sequester Grundelplith. For what they failed to remember was that Sequester was the town's one and only dentist. It was with great cunning that Grundelplith immediately put a stop to the curse by removing the teeth of each and every vampire that descended upon the village. Disgraced by both Adolf and Bellarina, the entire Reckonwith family left the village. Shame. All but Adolf and Bellarina, of course, who searched the library for yet another curse. One more powerful than before. One that would bring Grundelplith to his knees so that he would have no choice but to bequeath his son, Craven, to Bellarina, a woman scorned. This time, it couldn't be just any spell. It would have to be a hex.
the village was to eventually be invaded by zombie heads. With no body from which to sever the heads, the zombies could not be stopped by any known conventional means of zombie elimination. Grundleblit was dumbfounded. The villagers were dumbfounded. Even Adolf and Ballerina were dumbfounded. What could be done? The Vriesen Beaven Dutch country would be no more if a stop could not be put to the carnage and destruction brought on by Adolf and his evil tempered daughter Ballerina. With no hope in sight, Adolf and Ballerina were left with only one recourse. They would have to find Ballerina's grandma Schnitzel. Days turned into weeks. Weeks into months, months into years, as they traveled the world to find her. Of course, little did they know that she was living right in Vriesenbeven. <laughs> Good job, you numbskulls. Okay, so listen, there's only one way to get rid of the darn zombie heads. So send out your minions and pick me up the following. Number one, I need one bottled evil love. Shake it, not stir. Number two, I need the ashes of Ronald McDonald. Number three, I need the blood of some idiot doing the Harlem Shake. And last but not least, I need the sight of the Grim Reaper. Are you sure? Well, that last one is a special request. I've always wanted to have that. Reason Beeman was saved. And there was only one thing left to do. The villagers wanted both Adolf and his daughter to pay for what they had done, but nothing seemed to fit the crime. So they were placed in jail until one day, when an up-and-coming young scientist from Germany appeared in the village with the drawing for a unique device he called the Tremulator. The villagers immediately funded the construction of the machine. And when it was complete, Adolf and Ballerina were shoved inside and sent away. To this day, nobody knows exactly what happened. Although, a recent sighting has apparently surfaced on the internet that might suggest they are still alive and that Ballerina has found a few new men to pursue.